Hey, good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats and we are back with some more autumn slash fall. Yes, I'm saying fall even though we don't say fall in England. Uh, content, it's one of my favourite videos. I think I've done it every year since I've had this channel, which has been approximately a million years. Uh, it is my clothes changeover, so I like clothes. I also like keeping clothes for a bazillion years. So every um, season I like to swap. Well, actually not every season, that is a fib. Usually I do it like, I change it from like autumn and winter stuff to spring and summer stuff and back again. Um, so today we are going through, we're getting rid of um, summer and spring stuff that I won't be wearing this autumn and winter. And we are making sure the wardrobe's nice and autumn, winter friendly. I will be filing some stuff away. I will be donating some stuff. Um, there is a big thing up there behind that bag of clothes. And I'm unsure what season that's gonna be. So we will be going through that as well. I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, my progress so far, because it's just taken a little bit of a while. But I'm thrilled about it. I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. So let's show you what I've done so far. I started to make a little pile of clothes that I will not be wearing the rest of the year, but I would like to keep. Will I be wearing a Hawaiian shirt again this year? No. Will I be wearing this outfit? No. Same with this dress, which is a million years old from Peacocks. Same with this dress, which is white and it's polka dot and it's gorgeous. But that is a very Florida outfit. Won't be wearing that in the winter. Nor the blue one, which is old ASOS, I think. My favourite little jumpsuit. Again, I shan't be wearing this in autumn in England. No. Very old Marks and Spencer's outfit, which reminds me of... Um, being an RE teacher, because <laughs> I was one, and my old Primark. So this is all washed, it's all clean, and it's gonna go up there. But first, we need to work out what the heck is up there. I can see a Christmas print. I can see some holly, I can see Christmas trees. So we need to have a look up there to find out what's up there. So I'm gonna put this up there. That is the plan. I've also decided, if it's something that I have not worn for two years, if I've not worn it for two years, Stephen's just bring me a cup of tea. Thank you. If I've not worn it for two years, it's going to be donated. Because, which is gonna be hard for me. <laughs> because I like keeping clothes forever. So it's something that I've not worn for two years and I don't, I don't, it doesn't bring me joy, it's gonna be donated. I want the clothes, I wanna have a wardrobe where every piece I put it on and I love it. I'm not like scrabbling around all the bits and bobs. Um, we're gonna stick to this plan. Two years, three years, no, two years, two years. Right, let's get that pile of stuff up there and see what treasures we find, how exciting. Here we go. This is what was all up there. We have some polka dot stuff. We have, now I, this is a lovely dress. This is a Rocky Horror dress. This I do not think would fit, would fit my body. Oh, I do wonder if maybe my sister might want this though. Um, yeah, that's not gonna fit me. <laughs> We've got some Christmas stuff. We've got some spotty skirts, which I would wear on Disney holidays. All sorts of bits and bobs. We've got this mustard skirt, which is one of my faves. But it's looking a little bit worse for wear. It's gone very bobbly. I am going to try her on though and see if she fits. Because mustard is a delightful colour to wear during um, autumn, isn't it? So she's going to be tried on. In fact, I'm going to try... A couple. I want to try this one because I remember the black spotty dress and the red dress. One of them was so short, like my bum was hanging out. And this is not what needs to be shown to the world. So I'm going to try a few bits and bobs on. Good news, mustard. She still fits. I, and I feel a bit bloated today, and she still, she still fits. She's very crumpled, um, but she still fits. So this is like a nice autumn outfit. 
Let's try the dresses on. Hooray, this one still fits. This is vintage, I want to say Matalan. I think it's vintage Matalan. Um, but she still fits. Uh, I like it with some black tights. Would be nice just to go out and about. Um, but yeah, she's nice actually. I forgot, I forgot, see this is what I think, I forgot her, so I'm going to put her in the wash because she does smell a bit musty, but she's great, which leads me to believe the red one might be the short one. She's not as short as I remember. Would you see my bum if I bent over? Possibly. Uh, but also, she's alright. <laughs> oh, she will go on the maybe pile because I've not worn her for a while, but with, again with some thick black tights. Um, and a red lip, she would look nice, perhaps not old sports socks with a Nightmare Before Christmas bag behind me. I've now changed into pyjama bottoms as I said, I was feeling a bit bloated, and I'm trying on shirts. And this one will be fine, with some leggings and a little t-shirt underneath, for the school run, for a bit of layering. However, I would like to do the school run in my pyjamas, but I've not gone that far thus yet. I have made a pile to donate or for my sister um, some of these dresses. Actually, do you know what? This Rocky Horror dress did fit. And I thought, oh, I should keep it for if I ever go to see Rocky Horror. Emma, you've not seen the Rocky Horror show in five years. What leads you to believe that you will be seeing it <laughs> imminently? You have no plans to see the Rocky Horror. So why keep her dressed because you might go to see the Rocky Horror? <laughs> And then some of these dresses, I think I had this one with the paper clips when I was a teacher, and I've not taught for five and a half years. So these definitely adhered to the not worn for two years little rule I was going. These are the ones that I won't, actually I'm, oh, Emma you're already like going to get, no. I might wear this when we go to Paris for Halloween, um, but I don't feel like I need it out. These are the summer clothes that are gonna go away. Um, I know this isn't summer but I've kept a denim dress because one it fits really nicely and also it's kind of like a nice staple that can go for any time of the year really. Um, this definitely has not been worn <laughs> in two years but doesn't mean that I won't wear it soon. Um, and I've got a pile of Christmas clothes and I'm going to put those in. We've got like a, a section of the wardrobe that's all Christmas jumpers so that's going to go up there so I need to try and get this up there. So that small space. Hmm. I could probably do with like vacuum pack stuff, but I don't have vacuum pack stuff at the moment. So I shall put those away now. Yay, I got it in with a bit of ramming an elbow and get in. Um I'm also going to try on my coats. I have quite a few coats, but end up wearing the same look too. You know I always wear my leather jacket, you know I always, always wear my denim jacket. So winter coats, I have got a really nice green one, which is really nice actually, I'm really looking forward to wearing that again. It's like a tie waist one, oh it's lovely. But I can see there's a red one and like a dog's tooth. Is that the right word, dog tooth? <laughs> Blue tooth, dog's tooth. Dog check, checked tooth, can't remember. But I'm gonna try my coats on. Um, and this red one, which I think may even be a, a pre-child coat. So I'm gonna try these on and donate the ones that I'm just holding on to for the mems. I really like it. I really like it. And it does up, has it got a dirty tissue in the pocket? Sure. But I like this coat. I think it's quite cute for an autumn-y, so she lives to see another day. It's a size 18 and it is old Primark if you're interested for looking for something similar on a vintage, but yeah, I actually really like her. Okay, I think this one makes me look really a boxy and it's really bobbly, so the dog's tooth, hand's tooth, hands up, whatever, coat. Does, it's bobbly, it doesn't fit properly, it makes me look like a square, so this one can definitely be donated. I'm having regrets. <laughs> I'm having a 
why did I start this? And I'm actually, I'm, I'm saying this to you whilst lying on a hanger hook, which can't be safe. Okay. So I thought the next bit of the video, I will show you some of the bits that I've had a few years or like the styles I like for autumn and winter. Um, if I ever do try ons, I always do Instagram reels. So there will be a few on there. Gosh, that's not flattering. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be a few on there but I'll show you some of the bits and pieces that I really really like um, the stuff that makes me feel confident and comfortable uh, and I think I've got some nice pieces for this year and I say pieces as if I'm a fashion designer and you know what why not why not I, I, I it makes me sound fancy Okay, this is like my long dresses. I don't think we need to talk about party dresses because we're not near Christmas, but you know I love a sparkle. But kind of outfits that I really like. I really, you will have seen this a million times. Sorry. <laughs> On my uh, Instagram, I love a leopard print. I have a lot of animal prints. And this is gorgeous. I love wearing it with docks. I love wearing it with um, Converse. So I tend to do Converse and when it gets cold, it'll be a tights and docks. Actually, maybe I'll never wear tights in this because it is very long. So I have a lot of animal print. You will see lots and lots and lots and lots. I just love it. I also love a polka dot. Um, this is a really nice dress. It's got a nice split up it. Um, I love floral. This is a gorgeous dress that I have worn a million times before. Um, this is from Joni. And it is a velvet. Oh, it's so lovely. It's velvet. It's got a split up the front. And Joni, like, is a little bit more expensive than, um, you know, like Primark and stuff like that. But years. I've had this absolute years. And that was new look. So florals, animal print, all that good stuff. Um, I love that. I've recently um, become really obsessed with a designer called Emma Matteson, who does Simply Be, and I got this, I can't remember now if it was last year, it was earlier in the year, um, but this style, oh, look at the colours, if you, if you like black, you will not like my wardrobe, um, I really love, oh my god, I love this dress so much, I love the floral, I love the way it's cut. It's a size 16. I got a similar one in the Laura Adlington range, which I should have put on my Instagram by now. Um, gorgeous, love these dresses so much. So I love pattern and I love color. Monkey is really good. I got this frock and um, this is great to chuck on. It comes with the belt. Ah, it looks like a shirt from the 80s. It comes with the belt. It's got, I didn't realise until I tried it, had it on, it's got ladies. Has it got pockets? I feel like it has. Or am I disappointed that it hasn't got pockets? No, I don't think this one has got pockets. Um, but a shirt dress is great just to chuck on. I just love it. Because I do work for myself and I work at home quite a lot. And if I'm going to any meetings there in London, I'm just looking. I thought my, um, my willy cactus was going a bit mouldy then. But I think she's okay. Uh... I like just nice, comfy, bright coloured frocks. Um, I work from home a lot, I do the score and the things need to be really comfortable. I also have some like pleather leggings that I really like and I will wear those with check shirts. I have some thermal leggings which are amazing from Costco which I like chucking on like with an oversized like shacket. I've got um, a purple shacket that I love. So yeah, I'm excited, it's all sorted. And uh, no, I definitely will get somebody saying, oh, why don't you pop stuff on Vinted? I could pop stuff on Vinted. However, sort my bra straps out. That's what I do need to do. I need to get some new bras. Because these, certainly older than two years. Um, the thing is, I'm in a fortunate position that I don't need to make any money from Vintage. Like, so I'd rather donate it to a charity shop where it will raise money for the charity shop. It will go to a good home. So I'd rather do that. But I know, I bet some of you will comment, yeah, put it on vintage. But I'd rather do that, to be honest. Um, we have a few nice local charity shops and there's one that's like a distribution centre. 
So I'll take all the stuff in and they'll send it off all over the place. And um, I've still got a big box of books, but when the kids go back, so by the time you watch this, the kids have both got back. But when the kids go back, that's one of the activities on Monday to, to kind of get stuff going. So yeah, right. I am going to put these last little bits away, put my hangers away, and then I'm going to come back, um, probably looking not like this, probably looking makeup free with a headband on, she means biz, kind of gal, and I'm going to go through my girl's wardrobe who definitely has a lot of bits and bobs in there that are too small for her, because curse these kids, they keep growing, it's a bit bonkers really, um, so I love you, see you in a minute. Hi guys, it is, uh, what time is it? I feel like it's three o'clock, but it feels very cosy. Your balance currently balancing on some rat food, so that's nice for you. So, I did my boys' wardrobe in the summer when I um, had a week off and I wasn't recording, but I have just ordered him some autumn bits and bobs, so I will show you those when they come and pop those into his wardrobe. So we're focusing on my girl's wardrobe. Now the girl has a lot of clothes that I think will go from summer to autumn quite successfully. I imagine she might need, perhaps, I don't know, she seems to have like loads, she has loads of stuff. But, I say go through your wardrobe. She went through her wardrobe and she sorted bits and bobs out. So she's already made a pile over here of stuff that can be donated. So we've got shoes, we've got some clothes that don't fit her. Now, um, some of these she doesn't want, but I'm actually going to veto and keep and put in the Halloween box. Because she doesn't want them now, but if there's some sort of, you need to wear a fun Halloween headband day, there might be, there might be. So I'm going to keep some of the Halloween stuff. And some of these are like... Um, quite nice headbands like Christmas festive headbands I might just keep those myself she actually went through her wardrobe as well she did this herself she did this herself she went through her shoes she went through her t-shirts and she went through all her trousers so we've got boxes so here is trousers um Erin is rocking a lot of these kind of jeans these are from H&M they are wide leg very 90s here's another pair now um, also, cute new duvet cover from Georgia Asta. So she's got a lot of these kind of t-shirts and she is wearing them with little, um, not t-shirts, sorry, trousers. She is wearing them with little t-shirts. Um, that's from New Look. She, she's going for the 2XS in Primark. So a lot of that stuff, which I think she will continue to wear. If you see on Instagram, she wears like a lot of fun cardies. And where is the one? This one, I think this must be her most worn item ever. She likes a lot of bright colors. So that's 2XS and that is also from Primark, shoes wise for the autumn, she is going to need a pair of boots, she's got some nice trainers but she's going to need a pair of boots, sorry it's a little bit orange around here, let's see if I change, did I stop recording or did you go black and white, I don't know what happened there, so we have trousers and then we have a section here which is, she is doing a couple of theatre classes, it says dance but it's theatre, so that's for theatre stuff there and then this is summer stuff here which is um, shorts, local shorts and stuff that she can wear next summer. Uh, I think that's all okay. I may have a quick go through, but I'm just gonna have a little whiz through these, make sure everything's the right size. And then I think I'm just gonna go through this drawer here, which is like a school, why am I using my foot like a little hand, which is a school miscellaneous. So let me go through this little section first. There was a few age 10 to 11 stuff that I know wouldn't fit her anymore, but there's a few things here. This is 10 to 11, and this is 10 to 11. Obviously, she's nearly 12, but I think these would fit her absolutely fine. So I've kept those. And this one, these trousers, she really needs to try on before um, I get rid of them. I do seem to, I feel like she's had these for two years, and I do seem to remember they were really long. 
Um, so maybe they will fit her now. But yeah, she's got a lot of hoodies, little cardies. I love this jacket here. That is such a nice, um, what size is this? Oh, I can't see it. I'm hoping that fits it this year. It is 11 to 12. So yeah, that should be fine. Uh, so that bit's done and that bit's done. All the stuff for the drama, the summer stuff, she won't need that now. It's absolutely pouring. The trousers, and then I'm just going to go through this drawer here. This drawer here is just traditionally random stuff like thermal vests, thermal leggings. Uh, she might need these when she does her drama. Just random bits and bobs. I'm going to go through this and try and tidy up because it's one of those drawers that um, you can't close it. Or when you close it, you can't open it. So I'm going to definitely have a little go through this and make some piles and see if there's anything I can get rid of. We are going to be going to Paris when it's a bit colder. So thermal leggings like this are brilliant. And these are age 12. And there is a thermal top here, which is 10. So that must be fur and my boy. So thermal stuff, that's really good to know. I've got that on hand. Okay, I'm super excited because I found waterproofs and thermals for both of them. So they're both sorted for when we go to Paris because it will definitely rain. We have lots of woolly hats for my girl. I don't think she's going to... I, I could... I don't think she's going to want to wear that one again. Um, the others should be fine. They're all adults ones, I think, so... I think she'll wear, we're going to go to Harry Potter before Christmas. Yes, I mentioned the Christmas word. So she could probably want that. And this is the oldest hat in the history of the world. But she absolutely loves it. And this is one that she bought herself from Iceland, which I presume will be the one that she wears the most this winter. Can you hear the rain? It is pouring down. Yay, so much better. We've got hats, we've got waterproofs, we've got thermals. And also this is nice for me to know I don't have to worry about getting these things. We're sorted. Um, we've got drama pumps and also over here we've got, um, I found some more labels so I can put those upstairs in the labels. I know she won't want to wear this permanently but this is going to go in the um, box for our Disney holidays because she'll want to wear it in Disney. Um, it's very, very old Primark. And she actually has given up, uh, what was she in, Scouts, to do more drama. So that will go in her memory box. And maybe if Ethan goes up to Scouts, we might utilise that shirt again. Got a teeny bit of rubbish. And then all that to go through for charity or for me to keep. There's like a brown wig and I feel like we should keep that. Actually, I might make a pile for fancy dress box because so she's got her donkey from shrek outfit that can go in that as well there we go pardon Stephen was just talking to me um we were talking about we think that erin's going to want to have a double bed in here because her little friends had a double bed and there is more than enough room so i predict not this year but i predict in 2023 there'll be a little room makeover will the ivy stay up i think she still really likes the ivy um, she went through her books, Stephen dropped those off at the charity shop today, the ones that she didn't want anymore. She's still got quite a lot to get through. Hi Munchkin, Ethan's been drawing. Show you it. Let me have a look. Oh, hang on, I think the battery's fallen off the bottom of this. Um, Ethan has been drawing lots of football stuff. What's this Munchkin? A tracksuit um, top. He's been drawing a tracksuit top for his own Foot football, football kit. He's got football tonight, but it's absolutely pouring. Do you play outside when it rains? But or they just or they just they'll say don't. Do or oh, they'll cancel it. Oh well, it hasn't been cancelled as yet. It says the Coke has got like electric. <gasps> so he's sponsored by Coke. What's your team called? Um, I haven't thought of that. Oh, yet. I haven't thought of that. Maybe should we ask the people? So leave. This is the logo. Okay. So the logo is my my. Initials the logo is his three initials, which is EPC. And then it's sponsored by and Nike. It's got, football, it's got a football. It's sponsored, it's by, not Ni sponsored oh. by Nike. Nike made it, and it's sponsored by Coca-Cola. So Nike made the kit. Right. Okay. So let's get this for the people. Nike made the kit. And the and the tracksuit. And the tracksuit kit in all. It's sponsored by Coca-Cola. 
and designed by me and designed by ethan patrick conway the label is epc give us a name for the team yeah 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 and we'll check and then that's what it he'll is. check and we'll see um and we'll say it and yeah, yeah and on the next video we'll say what we chose yeah yeah this is a good boy. I go and call her that in. I'm just going to say goodbye to my friends. So there we go. That was um, the great autumn wardrobe swap over. As I said, I will come back when my boys' stuff has arrived. It was from Matalan. I have to go and pick it up. Did I put a, a couple of uh, festive reed diffusers in? Maybe. Um, for anybody who's interested, my girl has been loving secondary school. She's only done a couple of days so far. So far it's great, but it is raining today, so I'm going to be intrigued to see what kind of state will she have got the brolly out of her bag. I know, it's just gone, Emma's going to be walking and it's raining. So he's proper laughing. Will she have used the brolly? Who knows? Okay, my loves, I'll be back in another few days for another video. I love you lots. Take care. Let me know if you've swapped your clothes. See you soon. Bye, guys.